What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the Locker Room Silver Division, week one of the TTM Summer Showdown Surge format. San Francisco Giants are going up against the Indiana Hyperspacers. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a faster locker room than normal because I am set to battle the Indiana Hyperspacers like really soon, and someone's currently genning me my team because I recently lost access to my genning DS because it bricked on me. So, uh, really unfortunate, uh, very annoying, and uh, kind of a problem for some of my friends who I used to gen for a lot. But that's okay. Uh, let's get into the team. So uh, just really quickly going over my draft, just so everyone is aware, uh, there was actually already a battle for this to decide whether or not you were going to be in the gold or the silver uh, division for the playoff. Uh, I played once with a team that was uh, that was not good. The team I drafted was Jolteon. Amoongus, Ditto, Gigalith, Stoutland, and Lickitung, and Mantine. Um, the way the draft works is uh, we redraft a couple of Pokemon every single round, uh, and we start with a very low salary cap, and it gets bigger the longer you go, so you don't have that many decent tier Pokemon. The team was kind of garbage, and I went up against someone who drafted like nothing but wall breakers, had like a Tyrantrum had a, uh, what else did he have? Uh, Talonflame had a, uh, Sharpedo. And I just, I had no defensive bond to really take it on. And so I decided when I went back in, I dropped the Mantine for a Gyarados and I dropped the Stoutland for an Entei. My team is now a little bit more yu yu -y. Uh, and so I kinda, this is the team I sort of went with. It's, it's a strange one. Uh, but that's the nature of this draft. I think that's sort of the point, uh, to start low and kind of build into something over time. But uh, enough ado, here's the team. Uh, GLaDOS the Gyarados, who is now my Z-Mon with Wartirium Z. Decisions, Remix the uh, the Ditto, MV the Jolteon, Megatron the Gigalith, and Tungsten the Lickitung. So let's start off with uh, GLaDOS. He's a Dragon Dance sub Waterfall Earthquake against... Uh, Indiana Hyperspacious team actually very weak to ground. No ground resists, only one ground immunity, which is the Flygon, who doesn't love the waterfall. Uh, so if I can find someone to get a Dragon Dance up against, possible targets would be the Miltank, possibly the... Gardevoir sort of depends on his set, but if I can get a Dragon Dance up and sort of outspeed everything, barring any Scarfers on his team, GLaDOS can put in quite a lot of work. Really need to try and find an opportunity to give myself a Dragon Dance there, because uh, without it, GLaDOS sort of falls short in a lot of areas. Moving on, the decisions. He has a lot of Mon on his team that could potentially counter decisions, but the best one is the Mill Tank, which is why I have it so high tiered if you look at his team on the right. Uh, I brought the decision set I did to try and... Uh, I know it can beat the Miltank 1v1 as long as I can face to face it and get a sub up beforehand. Potentially, uh, I come in on something that I scare out with decisions, then pop off a substitute uh, as it comes in. Decisions can then toxic. He doesn't... The only things on his team that can't get toxicked are the Gengar, which I don't... It's too frail to just switch in against an Entei. And the Bisharp, who doesn't appreciate a Lava Plume. So the goal is pretty much the same way uh, that you would do any other Toxic sub-stall set. I get a Toxic on something, then I just sub-protect my way. Entei's got decent speed, so I set it up in such a way to outspeed any of the other... Um... Pokemon on his team, barring any base 100s. So, moving on. The, the, the decision set is not that special. Everybody knows how Toxic Substall works. It pretty much will guarantee at least one 1v1 set. So, and it's likely to be one of his potential walls, which could open up the door for some of my other sweepers, like Remix, who's running an, eight, an HP Ghost because the things on his team that are likely to have hidden power would be either the Gardevoir, weak to Ghost, Gengar, weak to Ghost, or the Magmordar, 
Uh, but I don't think the Meg Mortar is super likely to come, so I was okay with that as my potential. Moving on to MV, the Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Shatterball, Hidden Power, Ice with Choice Scarf. The reason I am doing that is that any of his setup mons, even after a setup, I still outspeed him. I outspeed a Jolly Max Speed Barbarical after a Shell Smash. I outspeed a Choice Scarfed Flygon, and it just gives me that little bit of speed control that I need. That, in addition to Remix, means I'm not going to get swept by any of his speed-based sweepers. Uh, as long as I don't get behind a sub, I should be good. Moving uh, the Shadow Ball. Jolteon doesn't have amazing coverage. Pretty predictable move. Pull HP Ice can Oko the Flygon. Megatron is an assault vest. He's a great switch into the Guard of War. He's a pretty good switch into the Gengar. Between Megatron and Tungsten, I have Gengar pretty much on lock because if it is choiced, and most Gengar sets I think are uh, a good idea to be choiced in one way or another, Megatron can switch in and, uh, and do well against Poison. Uh, which I resist, and then the Tungsten can switch in against a Ghost attack. They're both weak to Focus Blast, but Focus Miss, if he's going to click it, he's going to click it, and Gigalith won't go down to just one of them. Stone Edge, Stab, Earthquake, amazing against his team, Super Power, uh, Oko's the... I mean, really, it's just I didn't... Four moves, whatever I want, four attacks. Heavy Slam is good against the Gardevoir, guarantees a kill there. Uh, and decent against several other things as well. So moving on, we have the Tungsten, Knockoff, Hammer, Arm, Protect, and Wish. Unfortunately, uh, I was just told by my Jenner a little while ago, this has got to be Brick Break. It will not work as Hammer Arm. You can't be Hammer Arm and Wish, uh, which is unfortunate. Hammer Arm is pretty perfect for Lickitung. His speed is so atrocious that it really doesn't matter if it drops. 100 power instead of 75 Brick Break uh, is weak. Uh, knock off just to try and get rid of a few items here and there. Wish protect just to either shore up myself or get some of my teammates uh, another chance, another lease on life or a safe switch in and then uh, they can absorb some, like a middle ground switch, absorb that damage, get healed back up and then start the offensive momentum. So Tungsten, I don't imagine him to live that long. His goal is definitely not to like wall anything, although it is very, it is pretty bulky. Uh, the, the the idea here is more pop off a wish, get it to something else that can potentially turn this around, try my best not to get swept by his numerous setup sweepers, and hopefully I'm good. Ditto could be really important here against some of his more um, prolific setup sweepers like the Barbarical after Shell Smash or the or Swords Danced Up. Bish sharp. So that's all I got, guys. Hope you like the team. Any other suggestions you guys might have? The, really, the only other option I had, I only have one other Pokemon. I don't have 11 like normal. Uh, was Amoongus. Reason I didn't go Amoongus doesn't really do much. Um, his special attackers were looking at things like the the Gardevoir, who has Psychic or Psy Shock, so it doesn't do much there. The Mill Tank is pretty much a safe switch in no matter what. Uh, I won't take on his Flygon very well. I can't... I mean, maybe it's okay if I was like an Assault Vest variety against the Gengar. Uh, possibly baits in the Bisharp because he resists my dual stab. And I don't know that I'll do too much with like a Hidden Power fighting. Barbarical, maybe. But I'm pretty sure if it sets up, I, I don't have a shot against it can't take it like it, like all the special attackers i know you can be a physically defensive but his physical attackers will break me and his special attackers all have like super effective stuff against me so it just as far as a wall is concerned it just won't do it it'd probably even lose to the clefairy if i'm being perfectly honest so i didn't see it as a as a good bring here the lick tongue is not a fantastic bring either but at the very least it can provide wish support this team is it uh, I think I've done okay in like the preparation. Some of them can be very threatening Mon. GLaDOS, I don't know. I, I did it because it, I really needed some better offensive momentum and the man team just was not cutting it. So if I was going to drop the man team, I still wanted a water type. In the tiers that we used, there wasn't really a better water type out there. So I went with GLaDOS. I've drafted GLaDOS twice in draft format. 
in my experience, he has let me down a lot. I think... Yeah, I... After Dragon... Anything that can Dragon Dance up once uh, can do a great job. But the problem with GLaDOS is the four times weakness to electric. It's very easy to find a way around that. And it's just, I don't know, not quite there. Also, because he's a uh, Bisharp with Defiant, I opted to go for Moxie over the, um, over the Intimidate. And we'll see whether that works out for me. So uh, hopefully the team's ready now. Uh, I'm going to go check and then we'll trade and then we'll battle. And I will see you guys later. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.